Hi guys, welcome back to your one-stop destination of weekly tech news. I am Shantanu Dasi and this is Analytics India Magazine's weekly news roundup. So our first story is about a game called Battle of Polytopia and now this game is all set to become a part of DeepMind's open-ended platform Android EMV. Developed by a Swedish game company Midg1AB and launched in 2016, Polytopia is a world-building game where players play as one of the 16 tribes to develop an empire and defeat opponents in a low poly square shaped world in a game session that lasts 30 minutes. The players are pitted against human opponents or bots. With its inclusion on Android ENV, DeepMind will test AI as an opponent against human players. Till now, Polytopia has been installed over 14 million times and has a huge base, especially in Europe and the US. So our next story is about V-Ride, which was originally a China-based autonomous vehicle startup, which has now raised over 600 million in just five months in its Series B and C funding rounds with Renault, Mitsubishi and Nissan as strategic investors. V-Ride has kept the details of their backing very private until today when it disclosed that the investment was a lofty sum of 310 million from Alliance Ventures, a strategic venture capital fund operated by Renault, Nissan and Mitsubishi. It is unclear how much V-Ride has raised since its inception as some of its investments are undisclosed. But according to sources, it has pulled tens of millions of dollars from the Series A funding round. So in our next story, European Commission has opened an antitrust investigation against Google on whether Google supports its own online advertisement display over competitors. This investigation will also explore whether Google is limiting user data unfairly to the competition. Google's online display advertising business earns them billions every year, where it serves as an intermediary between advertisers and publishers to fill ad space on web pages and apps. The European Commission will also be monitoring things like requiring advertisers to use Google's own ad manager to display ads on YouTube and allegedly favoring its own ad exchanges. The investigation will also touch upon the fact that Google plans to phase out third-party cookies in Chrome as a part of its privacy sandbox plans. So Samsung and Google's smartwatch platform which was announced earlier this year at Google I.O. is expected to have a full preview soon at Samsung's virtual presentation. The official event page explains that Samsung is reimagining smartwatches, creating new opportunities for both developers and consumers, which seems to indicate that at least some sort of first look at the future of Samsung's smartwatches. The event will be streamed on June 28 from 1.15 to 2 p.m. ET. So for our last story, Hewlett Packard Enterprises has acquired deep learning training platform called Determined AI, but the value of this acquisition remains undisclosed. Determined AI will work with HPE to boost high-performance computing systems and develop mission-critical solutions. However, it will remain an open-source project. The company said that its customers and open source community members would continue to receive the same level of service and support. With its latest acquisition, HPE is chasing the HPC market. As per IDC, the accelerated AI server segment is expected to grow by 38%, touching 18 billion by 2024. The demand for HPC will increase by more than 40%, reaching almost 55 billion in revenue by 2024, according to the Intersect 360 research. So that's about it. Those were all the stories that I have for you today. If you like this video, click on that thumbs up. That really helps us a lot. Also, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss any other updates from Analytics India magazine.